Here's a quick demonstration of how to create a custom envelope using our creative scoreboard, our paper trimmer as well, and the brand new corner and notch punch for professional looking results every time. So from the back, the reverse of the creative scoreboard, we're going to take our guide here. This gives you the instructions for envelopes, envelope boxes, and then on the back for gift boxes as well. We're going to concentrate today on an envelope, and I want to make myself an A5 or a 4x6 envelope. So the first thing I need to do is look along this line here, and for a 4x6 card, I need to cut my paper size for my envelope at eight and one eighth of an inch by the same there. So I'm going to bring in my trimmer and my trimmer can cut up to 17 inches, paper 17 inches long or wide, so plenty of room here. And we also have an extendable arm with this, which is really handy for cutting those larger pieces, but you don't have to store a big trimmer. So we're going to put our cardstock in underneath the guide there at eight and one eighth of an inch. Nice clear measurements to see there. I'm going to score that and then we can do the same in the other direction to make sure we've got a perfect square. Now I've also got my scoring tool on here as well attached to my scoreboard so that I don't lose it. I'll pop that arm down. And then coming back to my scoreboard and my guide, so bring this in. I've got the non-slip feet on there so I can use it on any mat and it won't slide around. And I now need to start scoring this. So I'm going to bring in my guide and place this onto my scoreboard, making sure that the diagonal line lines up with the little diagonal notch that's at the top of the scoreboard there. So as I just take that and make sure that's in place, not going to move, I'm going to place my cardstock, and it doesn't matter which side because it's a perfect square, I'm going to place it up against this diagonal. Now the next measurement we need to look at on our guide, so now we've got our card size, our paper size, then we've got our scale mark, and our scale mark is three and three eighths. Okay, we're working in inches for all of this. So we need to bring this corner to the guide three and three eighths here. So that is just there, okay? And then what you'll see is there's a, the word score there with an arrow. So we're going to hold our cardstock there and we're just going to use our scoring tool, which is really comfortable to hold, and we're going to score down where the cardstock sits. We can now twist this 90 degrees and bring this little L shape or backwards L shape so that the score line sits just underneath it. And we're going to score once again. Make sure that's a nice deep score. And we're going to do the same again. Twist it 90 degrees, pop your last score line underneath that little lip there, and then score down. Now, before you do this, if you take a look at your guide, because we're on the second uh, or the third score line, sorry, we can now double check that we've got this in the right place. So this should now, this side, should now also sit at three and three eighths, which it does, so I know that I'm on the right track. And everything's lining up perfectly. And then this side, we can score down again by placing that score line underneath there. So now we've done all four sides. Don't forget, it's only the first score line and the third score line that is going to sit at three and three eighths because as we look at the shape of our envelope, we do have a long end and a short end. So the second and the fourth score line will have a different measurement on your scale mark here. So now we can take our scoreboard and pop this aside and we can bring in a really nifty tool. Now I love this, so this is the corner and notch punch and this just makes my envelopes and my box envelopes extra professional looking. So the first thing I'm going to do is go around all four corners and punch the corners with those and this will go through really strong cardstock. We've got the guide so that sits, a 90 degree corner will sit in there perfectly and it just rounds off those corners the same way as a professional envelope would have. And as you can see, you've got the little pieces at the bottom there falling out. Then we can turn the punch around and we can use the notch punch. So where you've got your cross of your score lines for your envelope, just place the notch punch over those and you'll see that there's two sort of like little antenna that stick up. They will sit lined up with your score lines and there you can punch again. 
and as you punch through that just takes out that corner for you. And we're going to work round and do that on all four of the corners there. So again, making this extra professional for you. And the fourth one. There we go. I'm popping that to the side. I'm going to come back to my scoreboard tool and I'm just going to score and fold each of these score lines around the envelope. If you've got a pattern paper here, you can decide which is going to be the top of your envelope and which is going to be the base. For this, you can actually have this so that you've got it as a top loading envelope or as a general side loading. But all you need to do then is pop a little bit of adhesive on the sides here and you've got yourself a custom four by six envelope. And of course, you can make your envelopes, your box envelopes and your gift boxes in lots of other different sizes and depths as well.